How is it growing? You may have noticed the powdery white stuff on your plants. This very well could be powdery mildew, which is very common and most gardeners deal with this every season. In this episode, we'll go over how you can stop this by using three different methods or even just prevent it. Powdery mildew is easy to identify, but do you know what it looks like in its early stage? On cucurbits like cucumber vines, it starts out with yellow spots. And just like anything, it's best to catch it early. Regardless of what type of treatment you choose to use for this, you should always, just like you are treating aphids or any disease, remove the worst of the plant first. That is my pest and disease control 101 practice. And this is so important, I'm gonna say this again. Remove the infected leaves, branches, vines, and dispose of them. Don't waste your sprays on portions of the plant that are hopelessly infected. Now, I used to use neem oil for this all the time, and I stopped using it because it seemed like it was a downward spiral and I was only contributing to that downward sp spiral because neem oil stresses out the plant. And when the plant is already stressed out from uh, whatever it's being infected with, regardless, I mean, it could, powdery mildew, uh, aphids, whatever it is, then you're continuing down that, that spiral. Now, one of my favorite things to use is milk and it will actually help boost the plant's immune system, but just be aware that it might smell as it, it spoils. And for preventative, you can use nine parts water to one part milk, or for a full-on attack, you can use two-thirds water to milk. Now, if you don't wanna use milk, here's an excellent treatment that my friends at Tree Amigos Growers sells, and I get it from them. And it is cease and mill stop, which you mix together and what you want to do for preventative, you can do a one tablespoon of each in one gallon water. Or for full on treatment, double that. So two tablespoons of each in, in a gallon of water. And I normally only use a half gallon at a, at a time. So cut the measurements in half and we're good to go. Another thing that works for preventative is a baking soda treatment and it has to do with the pH balance of the leaves. The mildew needs a moderate pH environment and the baking soda brings it out of that range. The thing is you need something to make it stick to the leaves. Vegetable oil does that, but what we know about vegetable oil is oil and water don't mix, right? So you need an emulsifier. Here's the, the whole recipe. For a one gallon, you'll need two tablespoons of baking soda, three drops of dish soap, and three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And you don't wanna use more dish soap than you have to because it can be destructive to the plant's defense system in, in the leaves. So there you have it, three ways that you can stop powdery mildew in your garden. Diluted milk, cease and mill stop, and the baking soda mix. If you got something out of this, do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel, like the video, Hit that bell so that you'll be notified when I upload videos in the future. And let's grow together.